it's Mia. So, I obviously, I look so much different. So if you guys don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram or if you didn't see my previous video, you did not know that I dyed my hair brown. And if you guys haven't seen any of my videos in the past, hi, I'm Mia. And I had blonde hair for a little bit over a year and yeah, so now it's brown. So I figured doing an update video about my hair would be the best instead of just starting my videos off being like, oh, what's up? I have brown hair. Okay, now let's do that for the day. You know? You know what I'm saying? Oh, and also, I got a nose piercing and I have a little hoop in. So, I mean, you guys are either going to like it or you're not. I actually don't really like it that much and I'm going to get a stud instead. So, yeah, that's what happened. So, I dyed my hair. Got a nose piercing. I'm such a rebel, guys. I know. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a backstory on my hair. My hair is naturally really, really dark brown, almost a black. My roots come out black, like pure black. And I wanted to originally dye my hair this exact color about a year ago. So I bleached my hair because I realized that dyeing it with just regular dyes would give it kind of a red undertone so I started bleaching it and realized that the brassiness doesn't go away unless you bleach it to basically blonde. So accidentally bleached my hair blonde and I ended up kind of liking it. It also works for me. Um, I got a lot of good feedback about it from you guys on Instagram and Twitter and that kind of stuff. So I decided to keep it. I thought, why not? So that was about September of last year, 2013. And then I just had to keep doing the roots. So I got the roots done um, at a salon. Just every single time I needed my roots done, I would go to a salon and get it done. Basically, I had one bad trip at the salon where they couldn't do my roots correctly. There's just a lot of bad things that happened. The bleach was left too long on my hair. There was too many processes at once going on plus I was allergic to the bleach and my scalp blistered and I decided to make the stupid decision of telling them to leave it on because I could go through it and I'd be fine wasn't fine now I have really really dead pieces about this short on the top of my hair about this short kind of everywhere going around my head and the sad thing is this actually didn't start breaking until about four months ago when it just really really couldn't take it anymore so I had to make the decision to cut off my hair and it was so sad because it was so long and it was healthy before that time um, and despite all the times that I bleached it, ombre it, colored it blue, colored it green, colored it crazy colors, it was still pretty healthy for what it was because I do have naturally strong and coarse hair so I had to yeah, cut it. And yes, I do have extensions. If you guys were wondering, I have extensions. I've had extensions in my hair for a while now. But my hair is about this short right now. It is shorter than my boyfriend's hair, which is a little sad. You know, it kind of breaks down my self-confidence. But he's going to get it cut, and I'm going to keep growing my hair. So, yes! So I guess that's it for like the intro of my hair, backstory of my hair. I made a full-on video on how I got my hair from dark dark brown basically black to blonde white all of that and I'm gonna have that video linked in the down bar so you guys can see it it's just really really in depth on all my blonde but this video is gonna be just about my hair in general and especially on how you know I just got my hair brown so I asked you guys on Twitter to ask me questions just all about my hair so I thought I would answer those in this video what are your favorite hair products so I have to use really specific products because I kind of have like scalp issues. Um, I guess dandruff is the correct term. So I have to use head and shoulder shampoo which is really really bad for your hair. Just like the regular parts of your hair because it's really drying, really stripping. Um, but that's what I have to use for my scalp. And to kind of balance that out I use a deep conditioning treatment every single time I wash my hair. Um, and I leave it in for about 15 minutes because my hair really, really needs to be moisturized and revitalized, especially after all the bleaching. What hair dye do you use? Um, I let you guys know in the previous video, which I have linked down below, like I said, about all the hair dyes I use to get my hair blonde. But as for brown, I went to a salon. I went to my friend Diana, who is amazing, amazing with any kind of hair, especially Asian hair. She really knows how my hair works, and I appreciate that so much. And she's in Beverly Hills, so I'm going to have her Instagram linked down below, and also her email if you guys want to contact her, because she is so, so good, and I literally don't know what I would be doing 
had I not found her. Were you hesitant to go back to brown hair or is this something you wanted to do for the winter time? I was incredibly, incredibly hesitant. Um, when I first dyed my hair, it was actually kind of darker than this. It actually faded out a lot because um, since I bleached my hair so many times, my hair doesn't really grasp onto color. So it was a bit darker than this when I first dyed it, which was about a week or so ago. About a week ago. It was just weird because I've had blonde hair for such a long time and I thought I wouldn't be used to it. And also, I kind of thought that like blonde was my image on YouTube and I don't know if that's true or not. But I've had so many comments on my pictures saying like, oh, you look better as blonde or oh, you look so basic now because I felt like blonde on an Asian just was kind of unique. But I mean, I don't think I look that different, do I? I don't, right? Because it's not that huge of a change. I mean, my hair is still pretty light, even though I do plan on maybe going darker. What's your natural hair texture? Wavy, straight, or curly? My hair is actually surprisingly wavy more on the curly side, and when I tell that to anyone, they're like, um, no. It's a pretty big stereotype that Asians have straight hair, and I used to have straight hair when I was a kid, and I used to have really thin hair when I was a kid, but as I grew up, my hair kind of just changed and got really coarse, really thick, and pretty, pretty wavy, like on the verge of curly. And my hair's not like that right now because it's so damaged, so it's actually a big afro. Do you trim your hair every month? And no, I do not trim my hair every month or really regularly. And no, I've never actually trimmed my hair regularly. Um, I do have naturally just really, really thick hair. And I didn't, I do have split ends now, but I didn't used to have split ends. So I never really had to trim my hair as much as other people. So I would trim my hair honestly about once every like eight months. But now I trim my hair every two months, I want to say, just because I do have terrible, terrible split ends. How many times have you dyed your hair? Um, I cannot even count. I can't even count how many times I've bleached my hair. Just bleached. I mean, I want to say, and this isn't exaggerating, probably about 150 times. Yeah. Keep in mind I did have blue ombre as well, so I had to keep dyeing the blue every week. Sometimes like a few times a week. So... What was the first color that you dyed your hair? I actually just dyed my hair from a really, really dark brown just to like a medium brown. Um, so, yeah. How frequently do you wash your hair? Um, about once or twice a week. Um, just whenever I really feel like I need to. Are you ever going to go back to blonde or try a different color? And I've had this question asked to me, asked to me so, so many times by my friends, by my family members, and especially by you guys. Um, and I really do like the blonde and I miss it a lot already, but I don't think that I can go back to it. At least until my hair grows out to a good length and it's not this hair. Like, basically until this piece gets this long, I will not touch my hair, I will not dye my hair unless it's a darker color, so not anytime soon, probably not for about a year at least a year. What dry shampoo brand are you using? I'm using the Not Your Mother's dry shampoo. I got it at Urban Outfitters, but I believe you can get it at Target as well. How hard is it to maintain the blonde? You guys have no idea. I mean, if you dyed your hair blonde before, I'm sure you know, but since I have black roots and I had like bleach blonde hair, it was incredibly hard, especially considering my hair grows like an inch and a half a month, which is so fast. So that's the end of this video. It's getting a little bit dark in this room, so I figured I should stop recording. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any more questions on my hair, anything, tweet them to me or ask them in my Instagram. Or just let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Drop it low, pick it up.